Welcome back YouTube. Today we are talking about uh, the four reasons why you are not building muscle. We're doing it right here in the OC3 studio. Colin C, Joe P coming at you. All right, so starting off today, uh, this is in no particular order at all. Um, it really doesn't make a difference. All of them are extremely important. All four of these things uh, you really got to have. Um, but we are going to start off today with overload. As a physical therapist, we have a couple um, different things that we talk about in uh, PT school itself. It's the physical stress theory. The physical stress theory basically means that any tissue in your body will change based upon the stressors that imparted upon them. Okay, so if you work really hard to break something down and build more muscle, um, it will build more muscle just naturally because you are stressing that tissue. And on the other side there, of course, if you have really big, strong, dense muscle and you don't ever use it, it's just going to atrophy away and get weaker and weaker. It's really important on building muscle. It's one of the most important things, in my opinion, on building muscle because if you don't break that tissue down, if you aren't um, working it to lift heavier load or heavier weight or pushing that threshold for a new PR, you're clearly never gonna get any stronger. The bottom line is if you're not gonna stress your muscles past the point of where they've always been, they are going to maintain and then eventually get smaller. That's just the way it is because you are going to continually get weaker. And that's something that I think is huge that people overlook, especially you've got the runners and you've got more cardio athletes. It is so easy to lose your muscle and then once you do and you don't progressively overload, what happens, you burn less calories. Exactly. So you start adding on fat year after year after year, and you may be working out all the time, but you don't realize that you're actually adding fat when you had muscle there. So it's a huge thing that we push all the time with my uh, my older um, patients, and my older athletes and things like that. You have to have some type of load on your body. You have to use a barbell, you have to use dumbbells, things like that, otherwise you're just gonna wither away to nothing and die. Yeah, well, and, and you may not be able to go out for a run anymore, or you may have, you know, whatever. Just think of my grandma and grandpa, but they can sit in their chair and lift some weights. They can move their body around to where they're stressing it in a way that's gonna be good for them and it's gonna overload them. So I, I agree 100% that's gotta be one of the four. Yep. Like Joe said in the beginning, at the end of this, we're gonna do something kind of cool. We're gonna give our top four in, in, in which order. So again, these are in no order. This is gonna be number two, and it's gonna be simply water. This is one of the most overlooked things as far as building muscle that I can that I think of, is that I didn't even know how important it was really until I started competing and until I realized what dehydration really was. And honestly, I'm gonna say this, is until I started getting hung over. And so I started drinking a little bit, I realized how important it was to be hydrated, that your, your muscles are made up of roughly like 75% of, of water. water it's a lot so yeah. if you don't have it so much is not going to go correctly that's just the way it is so you have got to drink more water than you think i think about i don't know 20 or 25 percent of your water maybe even less than that comes from your food it is not as much as people think it is so again you can drink water in so many different ways i don't care if it's a diet pop or whatever it is you can get it and make it to where it tastes good and where you'll actually do it that's some of the problem i think is hydration is people don't do things they like or drink things they like so they stop drinking and they're like oh I'm gonna carry around these two huge gallons of, of water today but not drink any of them or I'm gonna drink them for two months and then quit what is that gonna help it's not gonna help anything so you have got to keep drinking water it's so important for organ function protein synthesis if you don't have it god I fucked that word up if you don't have enough water it's not going to work properly it's that simple yeah and big indicators too of whether you got enough water of course is your pee check your pee color out if it's um as as yellow as this beer that's true you're, you're probably not drinking enough water if your lips are dry um you know energy's low energy's low that's a huge one too in the afternoon people are like oh i'm just crashing from the afternoon you know eating my my lunch yep. or something you're probably freaking dehydrated too is why probably. you're feeling like you know you're on the downhill in the afternoon even you can get into a hormone level and we don't want this video to be crazy in depth but even no. hormones they don't work properly you've got your test going down your growth hormone all that stuff your cortisol goes through the roof so your stress hormone, now you're more stressed out simply because you're not drinking enough water. And uh, Joe and I were talking about this earlier and he brought up a great point that 
you may not feel that little dehydration day after day after day. You may not feel it week after week, but years of being dehydrated and, and months of being dehydrated, eventually it's going to catch up to you to where it is negatively affecting your, your body image, um, how you feel when you're going to the gym, your energy levels, and all those things. Another thing about water is the level of dehydration. Yes, you can be kind of dehydrated and get through the day and make it work, but you are going to be losing muscle mass and your gains as you do that. Now, you can be super high, super dehydrated, like when you're hungover as shit and you feel horrible, that's because you're you're dehydrated. That is the most part. It's not because of the sleep as much as the dehydration. You can be so dehydrated that on your bachelor party in Nashville, you can't stop puking. So you have to go get an IV in your arm while all your buddies are having fun. Yeah, that happens. It does work though. They work. The IVs do work. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a medical doctor. Either is he. I just coach air squats for a living. So don't listen to us, but you know, if you happen to try it out, the IV bar in Nashville is pretty fucking solid. <laughs> it, works. it is really good. Well, we got it before we move on. We did not plan to wear the exact same shirts on this oh, video. Sure. I okay. swear he's been wearing this probably all day. I just put this on. We did not talk about it. I see that we look like huge douchebags, but that's all right. Whatever. <laughs> These are badass shirts. So they're like sick. Rhone. So expensive we oh, never even got to use them. God, I know. Because of Rona. Because of the Rona virus. Next on the list, again in no particular order in uh, any way, shape, or form, is sleep. Sleeping is extremely important um, for regulating, like we were just talking about a little bit ago, your hormones, especially your testosterone, increases drastically while you are sleeping. It helps with protein synth synthesis while you are asleep. Um, it is very, very important. Most people say like eight hours of sleep a night, right? That is not realistic for kid, people with kids or like people with uh, uh, you know busy jobs and things like that. So oh, we understand, we get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, like think but, of like a firefighter or a policeman. How are they going to get eight hours of sleep? Yeah, I, getting woke up ten times a night. You can't. You know, if you got Come stress on, on your mind, yeah, you know, things like that, that that makes it tough to it's do that. Um, but getting yourself into that REM sleep is huge with with building strength and building power and um, building muscle itself. So um, it is probably holding your back if you if you are sleeping like four or five hours a night. Like that just ain't enough. Like mm -hmm. you got to have more than that. And I think that that is one. It's one topic that people underestimate and they think it's okay but honestly if you want to get full results and you want to get as good as you can even within it doesn't mean you're winning the CrossFit games or you're you know doing something crazy it's just simply being as good as you can be you've got to up the sleep finally the last one we're gonna go over again no particular order is protein this is the most simple one because everybody's like well you know you gotta eat, you eat your protein did you take your protein shakes number one a day. shut up because you're not eating enough protein <laughs> so many people in my gym come up to me all the time I, I mean of all the members the number one thing they talk about is protein the number one thing they overestimate and don't freaking do is eat enough of it it's unbelievable to me and it makes me so mad of how underestimating they are of their protein intake one gram uh, per pound of body weight is about right okay and now there's outliers so if you take a 300 pound dude it's way too much that's right? that's over like that's fat obviously then you need to take his lean body mass so you need to take the fat percentage out if that's 30 percent you know 20 percent fat whatever it is and then he needs to be eating that protein he doesn't even be eating 300 grams of protein but for the most part it overestimates for most people no protein isn't bad for your kidneys no it isn't bad for any of this stuff if you overeat it you're gonna be fine um, but people underestimate it and that's the biggest problem. My mom's a perfect example. Every single night she eats a baked potato with a little bit of cottage cheese and salad. The and cottage like, cheese has 100 grams of protein, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it, it might, but I don't think so. <laughs> no. So you no. have to eat enough protein, otherwise protein synthesis is not going to occur. You are not going to recover properly and your muscles are simply not going to grow. Like Coach Greg said, I mean, it's 2021. Eat, get the freaking protein and eat it. It's that easy. Just there's so many options. There are so many simple, easy options out there. Why can you not eat your body weight in pounds of protein? It is it's totally possible. It's so easy. It's so it's so true too because it is so freaking easy to do. And here's the thing: you may have to do a little bit of work 
at the grocery store or beforehand to figure out how to do it, but afterwards you realize when you mix and match and you can eyeball stuff after that, all you gotta do is count for a couple few weeks, count maybe a month, weeks. and boom, you're gonna know about what you're eating and it's gonna be better than what you were doing before, I can tell you that. I mean, you go to some of the stores around town and you are, even the restaurants around town, and you get a certain amount of protein, you think it's four, six, seven, eight ounces, or they say it is, it is not. Let me tell you that it is not, it is that simple. It's loaded with more fat and it's got less protein than you think. So you need to underestimate that and start over delivering on your protein. Boom. Another benefit for having more protein in your diet is that you will stay fuller longer, right? Everyone loves talking about that, especially with protein, but your body is actually going to burn more calories digesting protein. It's actually, um, you know, people say you will burn twice as many calories digesting protein as opposed to fat or carbohydrates. Your body has to work so much harder to digest this protein. So. Um, it's beneficial because you are potentially going to build more muscle, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're potentially burning calories away as you're doing it. So again, it's kind of a win-win. Yeah, well, and you're, and you're thinking, uh, you know, almost back to the water thing, you're thinking about if you're not getting enough, and so you're continually, every year after year, getting older, and you're losing more muscle, that is the worst thing you can do. Yeah. And that's the thing is that if you lose your muscle mass as you age, that is how you are going to get fatter quicker. Yep. And in, in the words of Coach Greg, you're going to be fatter than last time. Yep. And then you're going to get fatter and then you're going to have poor balance and then you're going to get weaker and then you're going to fall and then you're going to break your hip and then you're going to die. Yep. And then you're going to go to Joe and then he's going to kill you at PT. Boom. You're dead. Mm -hmm. Just kid. I don't kill people. Mm -hmm. Come on over to me. That's pretty mean. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty rude. <laughs> Especially killing some old guy because he didn't eat enough protein. Well, himself. he should have fucking ate protein when he was yeah, 25. He should have. That's exactly what he should have done. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Joe to rank his top four. This is the four that he truly believes um, are the most important down to the least important and he's gonna give why because I think it's important to, to give it a little discussion and we want to know what you guys think in the comments below rank your top four is it whatever it may be is it overload is it water is it sleep is it protein you rank your top four we want to hear from you Joe's gonna go now number one on the list for me is going to be overload I personally think that if you are not overloading your tissues you cannot build strength you cannot build muscle it's impossible you cannot do it. And then after number one for your overload, number two is gonna be protein because if you do overload your system but you don't have enough protein in your body, shit ain't gonna fix itself. You're not gonna get stronger. There is no way it's gonna happen. Number three, so we got overload, we got protein. We got water as number three. If you're not consuming the proper amount of water, we talked about a hundred reasons why it's so important earlier. And I think that it ranks third on the list. It's extremely important, but not as important as the other two. Last one is going to be sleep. I personally think that sleep is extremely important, but not as important as those other three, um, because I know a lot of people that are really, really strong and they sleep like four, five, six hours a night. So I don't know, your body will adjust to that in my opinion. Over to Colin, what do you think? Top four, ready, go. My top four, number one is gotta be water. I don't think if you're, if you're not hydrated properly, I'm telling you right now, you are not gonna grow. You are not gonna recover. Your, your, your protein's gonna be all messed up. You're gonna be more tired. Yeah, you can get through it and you can get you know some things done, but you will not be as good as you can be without enough water. So number one for me is water, and I don't drink enough water. But number one is water. <laughs> number two is going to be protein. So I do match up with Joe on that one. Number two is going to be protein. If you simply do not have enough protein and you're not eating enough protein, you will not grow. It's not going to happen. I'm not even going to go back all through it. You know that. Number three for me is overload. If you're not lifting heavy weight and you're not getting progressive Aggressively heavier on your weights with your lifting, you are probably not going to grow either, or you're going to stall very, very quickly. You can only do so many air squats so many times a day before the air squat god is like, Yep, you are donezo, buddy. You need to add some weight onto that and put a barbell on your back, okay? After that, it is sleep. I don't sleep very much. Um, I, I'll be honest, I just don't know how important it is as far as continually doing it because like Joe said I think you can probably make it up if there's one thing you can do is with sleep now 
Here's the thing, people are gonna argue with that because I think there's gonna be a lot of people that probably put sleep as number one. Just sure. for me, I have to put sleep last because I don't sleep very much, but, and I think Joe's the same way. Uh, if we didn't, if we put it as number one, we'd be like, uh, we're lying. We're lying, <laughs> but yeah, we just don't sleep that much. You know, we used to sleep a little bit more back in the day, but kids and in, in, in the old YouTube, in the old jobby thing, gets in the way of that sleepy thing. Mm -hmm. So that's where I, that's where I, how I would rank them. Um, but we want to know what you guys, what you guys think. All right, guys, if you know that you need a little bit more protein in your diet, or maybe you're a little bit dehydrated today, you need to like this video, you need to subscribe to our channel, you need to check out all the other cool shit that we've been talking about lately. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you soon. Also, drop those comments below of what are your top four for building muscle. See you guys in the next one. Are we the same height now? Lower than me. Yeah, I'm taller. Oh, God, mm. 10 calories taste that much different? How many calories are yours? Mine's 90 calories. Mine's 148. Yours 148 calories? That's why it tastes better. Holy shit, it's so much better though. <laughs> how many carbs is it? 14. Oh yeah, does that matter? No. Dude, you know how many calories there are in alcohol? Seven calories Seven per calories gram. Seven calories per gram, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Something that's never on there. No. no one ever knows. You guys need to come in real quick? <laughs> hey, she can come see me real fast. Come here, come here. You wanna talk on camera? You wanna say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi, YouTube. Can you say hi to YouTube? Who's that? I'm not YouTube. No, can you say hi That's to YouTube? YouTube? Look in there, Joby, and say hi, YouTube. Come here. Oh. No. Ow. Oh. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got a jab right to the eye. <laughs> hey, why'd you jab mommy up? Oh, that hurt. Mm. Okay. All right. I love you. Bye. Mm, my shoe. Oh, your shoe is coming off. All right. Bye, girl. Can you say bye, YouTube? Bye, too. Say bye. <laughs> say bye, YouTube. <laughs> Good way.